Short Story 55 The Lost Key in the Helpful Hedgehog Muria lived in a small village nestled between rolling hills. Each morning, the rising sun painted the stone houses in soft golden light, and the smell of fresh bread drifted from the bakery down the street. Maria loved her village, but today a frown creased her forehead. She held a small silver key in her hand, its edges smooth from years of use. But where did it belong? Have you seen this key, Mama? Maria asked, showing it to her mother, who was kneading dough in the kitchen. Her mother shook her head, flour dusting her brow. No, my dear, perhaps it belongs to old Mr. Miller. He has keys for everything. Maria skipped across the cobblestone street to Mr. Miller's house, perched on a hill overlooking the village. He sat on his porch, mending a birdhouse. Mr. Miller, do you know where this key might belong? Maria asked, holding up the silver key. Mr. Miller squinted at the key, his bushy eyebrows meeting in the middle. Hmm, it looks familiar, but I can't place it. Tell you what, let me put it in my lost and found box. Someone will claim it sooner or later. Maria thanked Mr. Miller and walked away, the key still a mystery. She wandered through the bustling market, past stalls overflowing with colourful fruits and vegetables. Shopkeepers greeted her with a smile, but none recognised the key. Her hopes began to dwindle. Suddenly a prickly sensation tickled her ankle. Looking down, she saw a tiny hedgehog, its brown spines shimmering in the afternoon sun. It nudged her leg with its nose, then scurried towards a narrow alleyway between two houses. Curiosity sparked within Maria. Could the hedgehog know something about the key? Hesitantly, she followed it down the alley, sunlight giving way to dappled shade. The air grew cooler, and the scent of damp earth filled her nostrils. The hedgehog stopped at a mossy brick wall, its tiny nose twitching excitedly. Maria saw a gap in the wall, just big enough for the hedgehog to squeeze through. She peeked inside. A hidden doorway. Dust motes danced in the golden light filtering through a small window. With a deep breath, Maria pushed open the creaking door, the hinges groaning like rusty hinges. Inside the room was filled with old chests and dusty furniture. Cobs web, webs hung from the ceiling like ghostly curtains. In the centre stood a weathered wooden chest, its brass padlock tarnished with age. Maria's heart thumped in her chest. Could this be where the key belonged? She held the key up to the lock, fingers trembling. Slowly, carefully, she pushed it in. With a satisfying click, the lock sprung open. Maria lifted the lid, a gasp escaping her lips. Inside, nestled in velvet cloth, lay a collection of tiny, glittering objects. Jeweled butterflies, miniature silver castles, and a delicate dollhouse, complete with painted furniture and tiny people. Tears welled up in Maria's eyes. These were treasures, forgotten gems of her grandmother, who had always told her stories of a secret room filled with wonders. Maria had never believed her, but now, here it was. Just then a soft squeak startled her. The hedgehog peeked from behind a chest, its beady eyes fixed on the open box. Maria gently picked it up, its prickly fur tickling her palm. Thank you, little friend, she whispered. You led me to something truly magical. Maria spent the rest of the afternoon exploring the hidden room, her heart filled with joy and gratitude. As the sun began to set, she carefully relocked the chest and placed the key in her pocket. She knew it wasn't lost any more. It had found its home, just like her grandmother's treasures and the memory of her stories. Walking back through the village, bathed in the warm glow of sunset, 
Maria no longer felt sad. Her frown had been replaced by a bright smile. She had not only solved a mystery, but also discovered a secret, a magical connection to her past. And it all started with a lost key and a helpful little hedgehog. The next morning, Maria returned to Mr. Miller's house, not with the key, but with a gift, a miniature silver castle from her grandmother's treasure chest. Mr. Miller's eyes twinkled with delight as he held the tiny castle in his hand. This is truly magical, Maria, he said. Just like you. Maria smiled, knowing that this was just the beginning of her many adventures with a key to a secret world tucked in her pocket and a heart full of wonder. She was ready to explore wherever life might lead her. Story written by Google Bard AI Image created by Desgo.com AI Hello, this is Steve. If you enjoyed the story, please would you click on the like icon and take the time to leave a comment. If you want to know when the next story has been uploaded, please click on the notify bell icon to be notified. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tell your English learning friends so they can benefit too. Thank you.